Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. Like most knitters, I don't enjoy weaving in yarn tails. So whenever possible, I try to take care of them as I go so there's nothing to weave in later. Right now, I'm working on my Cubicle Socks Trio. And this pattern uses three colors of yarn, which are basically worked as stripes. I'm gonna carry all the colors up the inside of the sock to minimize the number of tails to be woven in, and I'll demonstrate that technique in another video. But as I start knitting the foot of my sock, I still have to attach new colors somehow. So today I'll be demonstrating how to use a variation of the Russian join to do just that. You'll need a blunt yarn needle and your new color of yarn. Let's get started. I'll be continuing with my current color in two rounds. So instead of ending one yarn and starting the next, like a traditional Russian join, I'm just going to attach the new color to the old one. The first thing I need to do is break my yarn, the new color yarn. And what that does is it creates a nice, feathered end instead of a blunt cut. And this will help keep that yarn tail concealed inside after I do the join. So next I'll thread my needle. And then I'm going to wrap my new yarn around my old yarn. I'm gonna slide the needle as close to the end as I can without letting it fall off. And then I want to weave this tail back into the same colored yarn. So I'll be weaving the tail into the center of the same yarn. And let's zoom in a little bit so you can really see what's happening. I just want to use my needle to get right to the center of the yarn. So I'm gonna go under one ply at a time, then the next ply and then the next, and I'm going right up the center of the yarn. And if it's helpful, you can think of it as bringing the needle tip forward, whoops, and then under one ply and forward towards you and under a ply and forward and under one ply. And I'm gonna keep doing that until my whole needle is filled with these single plies of yarn. And it's always better to go a little bit farther than you think you need to. So I'm going to make sure that my needle is packed nice and tight and covered up with those single plies of yarn I've been going under. Once it is, I'll very carefully pull the yarn through and pull that needle through. You may need to kind of just gently kind of open up those plies as you're 
pulling your needle through the center of the yarn. And once I pull the needle through, the yarn tail pops out. I'm going to hold on to the yarn tail and squish everything down towards the old yarn. So, whoop. so a long section here of my tail is exposed. And then I'm going to slide everything down the yarn tail. So I'll start at my old yarn and just use my fingers to gently smooth everything out. Slide everything down. And that yarn tail now is completely hidden inside the yarn itself. So nothing to weave in later. Once this new color is attached, I can slide it down to my stitches. And I'm going to zoom back out again. And once that new yarn is attached, I can go ahead and start knitting with my new color in the round. So I just want to make sure as I'm knitting that first stitch that the yarn doesn't slide up, that the new color doesn't slide up the old one. So I'll kind of hold everything in place and snug it up by pulling on the old color and then just knit across in the round as I have been for the rest of my sock. I hope you enjoyed learning how to attach a new color into your knitting with what I like to think of as a half Russian join. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your knitting friends. If you'd like to support our tutorial videos or try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and look for the Cubicle Socks Trio pattern. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!